We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory building. You sons of bitches.
here. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the Plex. I gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. How much? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. 
We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job... But well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch? Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peta. Yes. Peta. It's OK, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Come on. Don't die, brother. Not yet. Hold on, Eagle Flies. We're getting you home.
my son. What are you gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... Easy, boy.
set. Here fresh from one of the machines. Hello. Hey, partner. Hello, mister. Hey there. Hello. Welcome. How do you do? Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Liberty is worth every penny. Take care now. Hey, partner. You waiting for somebody to do the work for you? Might want to get comfortable. Okay, boy. Hey there, mister. Me. 
Sir! Madam! Gather round! Gather round! I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, oh, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Laugh you may, sir. But the world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and let and weep. from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. This is a land founded on greed. Still on science, not on truth, but on greed. Think. Not merely. Hey, move it! Watch it! Oh, welcome back. Most people who leave Ansberg that long don't come back. What were you looking for today? So, that attack on Fort Wallace. They're saying it was Indians. Okay, now let me see. No problem. It's here if you change your mind. Can I get a hot bath, please? You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. It's right next door. Just come back if you need anything. Now done seeing everything. me take over here. Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now relax. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. You let me know if the water gets cold. So how are things with you? Not too bad. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. That don't surprise me at all. It's been a while since I've been able to Relax like this. Oh, you don't say. Does that feel good? That's perfect. Thanks. I sure hope I see you again.
Hey, mister. Williamson. Why don't you sit instead of creeping around the place? I can see all this is hitting you hard. Don't you try and sidle up to me. I soon. Mr. Morgan. You know, I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for Eagle Flies. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. You gotta just look out for yourself yeah, now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. <sighs> it all happened so fast. What? Uh, right. I'm sorry. I'm That's a me. bit distracted. Always Done. stirring the pot, aren't you? I ain't. We've been friends a long time. Yeah, yeah. So you think... You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Mike, would you mind if we talk later? I've got a lot on. Okay, 
Not to worry. How are you? I'm good. We'll get through this. Good for you. Javier. Won't even sit next to me no more. We talk. I don't have much to say to you right now. No. Oh. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure, Arthur. And this fella here. This fella's Arthur. He's a good guy. A real good guy. Sort of a, a modern-day hero. Strong, tough, dumb as rocks. Like a, like a, a cowboy in a little book. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He's a warrior. Straight-up uh, killer. We've had some scrapes together. Rescued me from a hanging. Got shot up by a bunch of southerners. Lot of fun we had together. Back in the day. Ain't that so, Arthur? Time of my goddamn life. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors, both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we... Our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more That's train. always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists on Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's pick up the pace. Train is due in Santa D in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. something different. Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now.
Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up! We're still going through with this? Of course we are! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train!